Hi everyone, I am Punya Mall, Product Manager for Content Manager. In this video, we will take a look at a set of specific features aimed at improving the usability of operations performed in the web client. One of the ways that a record creation experience can improve is by enabling the context awareness of the drag and draw feature. We will take a look at this shortly. The other feature mentioned here is making the column view a bit more persistent and easier to work with when dealing with large volumes of data. This release introduces a new button to quickly fit the title description and column width return function as part of the web client. Let's take a quick look at the drag and drop feature. Now, most of you would know that the drag and drop feature is a quick and easy way to create records in bulk from the set of documents dropped onto the browser window. And in this method, the default check-in style provides the check-in metadata for the records. In this release, users can now drop documents onto a container or categories. In this case, the containers or the categories information takes precedence over the check-in style metadata. Let's drag an actual document to validate this. So if I drag this document onto the bigger window that is selected, let's call this drop zone. In this case, the check-in style information will be associated with this checked in record. Let's repeat the scenario and this time I will drop them onto a specific container that's highlighted here. Note that when I hover the document on top of a particular container, only that container is selected. So if I drop this on the container, note that the container number is inherited with this record. So let's go ahead and uh, create this record. That's it. The record is created with the number D2345. Note that the drop spots are enabled only for categories and containers. It will be enabled for other CM objects and future releases. Also while dropping the documents onto the drop zones or drop spots, there are certain Behaviors, dropping it into empty space is a drop zone and would pick up the check-in style metadata. Whereas dropping it into certain category would pick up the category or container metadata. Note that it cannot be dropped onto parent containers. So you would have to expand the containers or categories for it to be dropped into the child container. The next set of features that makes working with bulk data a little easier. We had introduced the grid view a couple of releases earlier. And with grid view, sometimes the columns are overlapped with each other. Users have to spend time to resize the column over and over again. This quickly became unproductive with several users having to spend time every day and with every session. In, the, in this release, a new button is introduced that quickly refits each column to its title description. So as you can see, using this button, expanded all of the columns that were overlapping with each other to its title description size. 
Along with this, we got a column size retain capability. So if I move these columns around and increase or decrease the column width, this mechanism is backend supported and so the column arrangement and the column width will be available if you accidentally hit refresh or if you log into different browsers you would see the same arrangement being persistent across different sessions once again thanks for watching from the product management team